rejected Israel's warning to get out of the way, but found they had nowhere to go. What's a safe place for us to go, the woman cried. Not the U.N. compound where 700 people took shelter. Israeli artillery hit it, then hit it again. Three people were injured and food and other aid went up in flames. Israel claimed it was returning fire from militants. Burning with rage, the U.N. denied that. Let's have an investigation. Let's find out what happened. Let the facts speak for themselves. In the pounding of Gaza's crowded capital, Israel killed the Hamas leader in charge of security. An Israeli general said, we need to use force like Americans in Iraq. Hamas needs to be snuffed out. But the attack also hit the Reuters news agency office, threatening the small press corps in Gaza, which Israel's keeping small by keeping most foreign reporters out. Two journalists from Abu Dhabi were wounded. And at Gaza's biggest hospital, there were more small children in the stream of casualties than men of fighting age. Palestinians say the war's death toll is above 1,000 now, with at least half the casualties civilian. It could be last-minute gains Israel's after in Gaza with the stepped-up attacks on the ground. Because along with all the smoke in the air, there's a feeling now this may soon be ending.